Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. Uh, this morning, I'd like to capture my thought with sight and faith. Sight and faith that is seen and believing. You know, in John 20, 24 to 28, there's a powerful story over there. And that story has to deal with um, Thomas. We call him the doubting Thomas. I mean, that's uh, so sometimes, hey, doubting Thomas. When somebody doesn't believe, they say, he's a doubting Thomas. You know, the Bible says that Jesus had risen from the dead. And people had gone to the grave. And they saw that the grave was empty. People had had angelic visitations. People had seen the cloth. People had seen the linen wrapped. And all those other things. All those evidences were there. And these are people that Thomas had worked with for a very long time. And they came and broadcast the news and said, listen, the guy is really, really, really risen. And what he said to, he had already spoken about it, that he's going to rise up, that death will have no control over him. Thomas has seen Jesus raise the dead from the grave. He has seen the resurrection of Lazarus, the raising the dead, uh, dead Lazarus. He has seen um, uh, Tabitha Kumi, that is the uh, arise, the uh, daughter arise. He has seen all those other other miracles. He had seen five loaves and three fish being multiplied. He had seen Jesus walking on water. My goodness, the, Jesus had a credibility ratio with, with this and that was so high. Jesus was, his credibility quotient was extremely, very, very, very good. His CV was heavily decorated with exploits and feats that were unbelievable and that, but that was so true. And Thomas had been a witness to all these other things. Thomas has seen the, the, the lepers get, get healed. Thomas has seen the, uh, the lame walk. Thomas has seen that because he was with Jesus. He was one of the twelve, always with Jesus. Yes, Thomas didn't see the transfiguration. But Thomas had seen many, many, many miracles. There were proof products all littered. I mean, Jesus Christ had the litany of proof behind him. So when he said, I'll rise again, he has raised the dead before so he can rise. And he said, I'm only going to lay down my life for a season, but I'll pick it up again. And yet at his resurrection, the Bible said, P uh, Thomas said, no way, Jose, Peter, what are you saying? I can't believe it. This man is not. And then Thomas made a statement. He said, unless I see it, unless I touch those nail scared hands, I ain't going to believe. So for Thomas, sight was his, was his premium. Sight was going to determine his trust. Sight was going to determine his faith. Sight was going to do that is something that you see, something that he touches, something that his, his faith was limited to his five senses. That was Thomas. Thomas was saying, I'm going to operate by my five senses and my five senses are going to determine my faith. But what Thomas forgets is that faith is assurance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. So it, I don't have to see it before I believe. And for many of us, we live in that zone. Unless we see it, we will not believe. But our God is the God who calls the things that be not as though they were. And so they become. He, ha he has power to stop the seas. He has power to stop the storms and calm the storms. He has power to, I mean, uh, create a great drought of fish. He has that power. And God is not going to be, you are not going to be the, the, the anvil of God's failure. That is, when he came to you, then God failed. It's impossible. And so there are many of us who walk by sight and not by faith. But we walk by faith and not by sight. It's not what I am seeing. It is what God's word says. So, sight and faith. Unless I see, I touch, I taste, I hear, I sense, I feel. That's not going to happen. That's not the right way. Because we believe. He who must, he who must uh, uh, come to God must first believe that he is. And is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So it starts with the belief. It starts you get in, have you seen, have you seen God before you ask me no have you touched God before no but I have testimonies behind me that I can look at and I've seen him do it for other people too much for me to even doubt him for a second yeah in my storms yeah in my pain yeah in my distress I might look for him and say where is he father where are you but it doesn't change my trust it may shake my trust but it, it will not take it away it may undermine my faith 
but he didn't take it away. Because I don't need a mountain hill of faith. I just need a mustard seed. Sight and faith. What's your choice? I choose faith. So it's not what I see that determines what God is doing. It's not what I see. It is what his word says. So you know what? You have choices to make. See you later.